It is a mad dash to the end for funding for some big issues in Utah. Lawmakers will unveil the budget tonight. As Fox 13's Ben Winslow reports from Capitol Hill, there is a lot that could be left out. The budget isn't looking good this year with a lot of big initiatives not getting much money. There's, you know, a lot of things in uh, the state that didn't get funded. The budget is the single biggest thing the legislature does with billions to spend on things like roads, education, health care and air quality. But this year, with the collapse of the tax reform bill in the face of a citizen referendum, lawmakers are having to shift their spending. We've had this shadow of the coronavirus has been floating around. And then we've also had this thing has taken place in the stock market. But we're really worried about what this could turn into. They're socking away money for a rainy day and still exploring a tax cut for Utahns. There are storm clouds on the horizon. Uh, we've seen them, we can feel them. And uh, the question I think that we all are going to have to vote on at some point is do we take that 80 million and do any kind of tax relief with it or do we set it aside for a rainy day? The House Speaker met with Democrats to sell them on some big changes to education funding, including shifting services for children and people with disabilities under that umbrella. It could free up $650 million for other government programs. If we don't end up seeing these pass this year, either because we choose not to put the question on the ballot or the voters choose not to vote for it in the fall, then we come back and we have to do tax reform 3.0 again. Teachers marched for a 6% funding hike on the weighted pupil unit, a formula for class funding that includes teacher salaries. They're getting 5%. State employees will get a small raise. Corrections officers will get a little more. Senator Jake Anderig asked for $35 million for affordable housing. He says he may get a third of that. We can still do a heck of a lot of good with that. But a lot of air quality bills may not get funded. The state will invest millions into beefing up the electric grid infrastructure. I'm concerned about some of our very good bills that may not get funded this year. Now we'll know in about an hour how much money the state is actually going to spend on some big ticket items. That's when the Executive Appropriations Committee meets. The legislature must pass its budget before they can adjourn next week. On the Hill, Ben Winslow, Fox 13 News, Utah.